Hey, what's up guys? This is the aluminum cocktail table that I made a few weeks ago. I ended up having a finish failure with it, so I thought I'd do a, a quick update video in case anybody out there is building this. I wasn't too surprised because aluminum can be tricky to finish. I use the plutonium clear on the aluminum. The clear works great on the painted surface, but on the aluminum, it started to turn white and blotchy after about two or three days. I bought it in the house here, it looked great, and then all of a sudden it started to turn white and blotchy. So I'm going to end up finishing this with my old standby, which is Butcher's Bowling Alley Wax. And that's the clear finish that's on this painting of the Rondell behind me. This was made in 2005. I've never had a problem with it. I've been using Butcher's Bowling Alley Wax on aluminum since about 2003. And it just always seems to work good and it's a nice finish. So I'll get started by first sanding off the old finish. I'm going to wet sand it because I'm working in my house here. I'll start out with 220 and then finish up with 320. You can see that the finish just really isn't sticking. It's coming off very easily. But like I said, that's not uncommon with aluminum. Aluminum can be a very tricky surface to finish. To apply the wax, use an old cotton t-shirt. I like to wrap the t-shirt into a tight ball, then slightly dampen it with clean water. And then use the rag to apply the wax. I always apply the wax in the same direction that I sanded. Allow the wax to dry for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then buff the wax out with a clean cotton rag. That's the process for one coat. I usually repeat the process two or three times depending on what the project is that I'm working on. Okay, well that's all there is to it. It's, you might be wondering why didn't I just do that in the first place. I wanted to see if the plutonium would work and if I was able to seal the paint and the aluminum at the same time that would have been easier. I have to say I really do like the wax finish though. It's not the strongest finish, but it's really important to finish aluminum with something because Aluminum will absorb the oils in your hand, so if somebody's moving the block or touching the block, it's going to leave fingerprints. So you want to seal it, and I find this Butcher's Bowling Alley Wax to uh, be pretty easy. It just gives a nice look and feel to the aluminum. You definitely would want to still use a coaster on this. <laughs> That's something I'm going to drum into my kid's head. You know, use a coaster, and making coasters might be a cool project sometime next year. I've already got some ideas for... I, coasters that I think would look good on this table. Uh, I didn't finish the pantry build. If you tuned in last week, you know I'm building a pantry and I'm installing that on Saturday and I've got a ton of editing to do. So that video will go up a week from Saturday. I will be posting a video this Saturday and that's refinishing a Babinga desk, solid Babinga desk with hand cut dovetails that I made 17 years ago. And I'm just sprucing up the finish or freshening up the finish with a few new coats of water locks and after I do that I'm going to show you some of the projects that I did here in the sunroom including the renovation of the sunroom we'll take a look at some before and after pictures and just go through all the different projects that were dedicated to this one room because as a woodworker and an artist and a furniture designer I think about furniture how it will work in the space. That's ultimately what's most important to me. Making the piece of furniture is important, but it has to look right where it goes. So I'm pretty happy with the way this room is turning out. There's still a few little things that I need to do to it. And we'll talk about that in Saturday's video. So I hope you'll tune in for that. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.